Okay, so now that I've entered the figure skating world for like a brief moment and stuff, because I realize I'm too fat to do the stuff they're doing on the ice, I'm going to say this. I received a tag in this article saying, where are all the black people in figure skating, right? So I read the article because I don't want to be ignorant on the subject. Then I went into the comments and I see racial divide already starting aside from one comment where a white man said, black people are in the same place that white men are in the NBA. That had me laughing for like hours. Anyways, <clears throat> so I read the article, I did some research, and I understood that in America, when everything was segregated and we were divided and we weren't together, that black folks weren't allowed in certain skating clubs, right? Made since then. Fast forward 2022, I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on the limb and say the reason you see lack of American diversity in figure skating is because maybe... The black folks or minorities are exposing their children and the youth to figure skating. Now, hear me out. Basketball, football, track, and, and like four of us in hockey. But what I'm saying is our children are going to partake in the things that we expose them to. For example, up until I seen Nathan put his foot in his mouth while skating backwards on the skate, I never thought to tell my children to go Figure skating. Now that I've seen it, they're going to try it. Now, they may hate it. They may like. They may not like it, and we'll go back to what we was doing on a regular basis, but they are going to try it because their father was exposed, and their father is the head of this household, and what I say, they going to try. Now, I'm not going to force them to do it, but they got to get exposed to it in a way. So before we get in this uproar about racial disparity, which I'm not saying don't exist. Let's think, do we expose our youth to it? Do we expose our children to it? Do we have access to skating rings? I'm in Naples, Florida. It ain't no ice down here. It's beaches and dirt and people from Florida chasing alligators who been sleeping with somebody's wife and they're going to be on Jerry Springer next week. Y'all got to watch that episode. What I am trying to say is, it's all about being exposed to a sport. The more we are exposed, the more kids get interested, the more kids get interested, the the more they grow up and they want to do that. And I'm also going to say nobody in this day and age needs to be invited to any kind of club because of the internet. If I put my son on the internet and he could be dark as Wesley Snipes or he could be as light as Christopher Walken. Those are two skin tone comparisons. God damn it, Josh, you good. What I'm saying is once that exposure is created on the internet, somebody's going to see it and somebody going to say, you know what? We need him to compete for our team because we are about trophies. We are about winning. We are about inclusion. But most importantly, we are about winning. Like, I don't give a damn if you purple, green, yellow, blue, red, orange, or microscopic um, green, if that's a color. If you can win, you invite it in. It ain't really about the skin color in regards to competing. So as far as this article, I read it, I understand it, but I'm going to say the lack of exposure to certain sports is why you see lack of diversity. If their father, Josh Prey, is saying football, 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 and never showing figure skating, then chances are they're never going to be interested in competing in figure skating. Hope I answered your question.